Monday, January 26th, 1.15 in the morning. I am at the church, and I know you're thinking, why? Well, I'm at the church this early because today is my wife's birthday, and late Saturday night, I had an idea to give her an extra present on her birthday, which would be to write her a song and to put it on the blog. And so I had my lyrics ready and some of my music ready. And so after we put kids in bed and everything settled down Sunday night, I came up to the church with my guitar, garage band, and my little, you know, Best Buy microphone and recorded a song for Kristen called Discovering You. You can see it. It's obviously in the body of the the blog text today. It's the, the main thing. You, I'm sure you're seeing this video much later on Monday night simply because I'm not going to edit a video and upload it at one o'clock in the morning. But I thought it might be fun for a vlog to tell you how Kristen and I met. Uh, I was touring, uh, playing concerts uh, with my guitar and had a few guys that played with me. In 95, 96, I had done a CD and was playing a lot, and I played at a church in my hometown. They, they asked me to play for a guy, or open for a guy, who went by the name Jeffrey Allen Wade. So I went, and then the church, which was in my hometown, asked if I would also play acoustic in their praise band for that night. Now, I knew Kristen. Her name was Kristen Carnley, and our dads had played music together. And Kristen's little brother, Justin, was a year younger than me, and we were in a band in high school together. So we knew Justin, we'd hung out. So I, I knew who Kristen was. As a matter of fact, I actually thought Kristen was still in a relationship with a guy that I thought was pretty serious. And so I go to do this rehearsal, and there's Kristen. She's involved with the church. She's volunteering. I think she'd graduated college by that time. Man, I was just uh, enraptured by her. The most beautiful thing I had ever seen. And so uh, I didn't know what to do with that because, again, I thought she, you know, had this uh, relationship that was that was ongoing. I didn't really think anything about it. Did the rehearsal like on a Monday night. Came back Wednesday. Played with the band. Did my set. But while Jeffrey was playing, I went out to the little kitchen area to get something to drink, and there was Kristen, and we just talked for a minute, dumb chit chat which probably was real, like just really bad flirting in reality. But the cool thing was is that when I was done with that, that Wednesday night, a few days later I got a call from the youth worship guy who said, hey, would you be willing to come every Wednesday night and play? And so I thought about it and decided that I would like to do that. And that really was a musical decision that really didn't have anything to do with this beautiful girl, although that was a great, I mean, it was awesome. I, I knew I had, I had to find out if Christian was still with this guy, but I had no way of knowing how to do that. And so what I started to do was I started to stay after practice on Monday nights. I would stay uh, pretty late. I mean, we'd play and we'd hang around, and I would just sort of stand there and just wait, see what Kristen would do. And Kristen, I noticed, started staying and hanging around. And so it became like a Monday night thing that we just, um, we just, just talked about nothing. I just remember, even from that first time meeting Kristen, um, just being real surprised at how easily I could talk to her. That was really cool for me. And I will say this, that I really think that Kristen saved me from the disease of introspection. At that time in my life, I was a songwriter, I was wanting to serve the church, but I was also kind of mad at the church and had all these ideas, and it's like I wanted to be Bono and Rich Mullins all rolled into one, which I'm so not. But I really thought, so there was something in me that thought that I had to be this uh, brooding, sullen, introspective guy. And the sad thing was is I, I, that's not that's not who the Lord made me to be. That's just not how God made me. It just wasn't me. It wasn't how I grew up, and it just wasn't me. From almost the first conversation, just being amazed at how Kristen would um, just really be able to draw out uh, the silliness in me, the fun, the joy, the laughter, and 
almost immediately, I noticed a change in myself. And I really do think that without knowing it, Kristen drew me back to becoming the person that God made me to be. I believe that with all my heart. She didn't know it. It wasn't intentional. What this girl did, just with relationship, just with conversation, just with later on love and care and respect. And I'll always be so grateful to the Lord for that. I have no doubt that Kristen is the one that God wanted for me. And I don't know how some of you may feel about that. You may not feel like there is a one. But I really do think that God orchestrated that meeting and orchestrated all of those encounters that Kristen would really help me to become the person he wanted me to be. That's hard to forget. I mean, when you look at being married almost 11 years and celebrating a birthday here and looking at these kids that you have with a person... I can't get away from those reminders of how amazing this life has been with her. I just can't get away from it. That's my vlog today about my wife. I know I wrote her a song and wished her happy birthday and bought her presents. Uh, but just to share with you, those of you who, uh, who didn't know, it all started with a concert with Kristen and I. So it might be kind of fun in the Todd vlog randomly to do little you know, progress uh, reports of our relationship or whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If, if you know Kristen on Facebook, if you're her friend or you have her email or cell phone, call her, text her, post a message, wish her happy birthday. She's a great, great gal, and uh, I'm honored to be hers. Bye.